Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams rank among the best passing offenses in the country. That's to be expected with these two coaches in charge. Both of them innovative offensive gurus. Not that they totally abandon the running game, but they are on the cutting edge of the latest in the passing offense. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. From the eight yard line, he makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Hart's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good hard look at it. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 43. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle around the 45-yard line. I tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. Quick throw, and they make the stop around the 46-yard line, taking back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. He goes downtown, and he stays in bounds, and he hauls in a big one. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's immediately tackled. Fisher picks up about three with that catch. Touchdown, Cougars. And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Wildcats had a spot in the top 20. That is in jeopardy after this performance. And for Kansas State, they've now dropped three in a row. And for Mosley, a big day for him, throwing for four touchdowns. The Cornhuskers pull it out by a field goal. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here we go. Easy, 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 easy. 
Dumps it out left to the running back. And down he goes at the 28. That makes it second and six. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Passes in and it's picked out of the sky. And they'll return this one all the way. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. From the 33-yard line, first down. Houston is up a score. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And he's tackled around the 22-yard line. First down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Brought down right around the 12-yard line. That brings up second and one. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 33-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 14-0. Nolan has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 27. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Once and all, going deep. And he's taken down right around the 34. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's taken down right around the 20. Play to set him up with a first and goal. Five wide. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and goal. Yeah. 
He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Tackle made just outside the goal line. Landry gets three yards on the carry. That brings us fourth and goal. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Flyers in there, got it, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Oklahoma State lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Houston showing no fear early in this football game, Kirk, and they're looking for the upset. They are looking for the upset. And the longer they stick around in a game like this, I think the more that they believe they can actually pull it off. It looks like they, we may have ourselves a ball game today. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Houston is up by a touchdown. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Tackle at about the 41. That'll make it second and four. He's at the 40, at the 30. He goes down at the 20-yard line. That's a team of the on the way. First down. Three down, three down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop around the 11-yard line. At the 11-yard line. That brings up second and one. Green pass. He's got his half back. And down he goes around the four yard line. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. Check tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Pull up there. Check it out. He's under pressure. Keeps it. And he's got a touchdown. converts the extra point. It was a six-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That makes it second. Very interesting first quarter. 21-7, Houston. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. Throws complete.
be stopped immediately. Such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Let's see what you got. Hey, 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 alert, alert. Line's 50, line's 50. Red right, And he throws it away. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Complete. He's got room. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. And he throws it away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. First down. Watch 35. Watch 35. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. to about the 44-yard line. Gets it out quickly. He's at the 30. To the 10. And they push him out at the 4-yard line. That makes, that makes it first, first and goal. goal. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. The Cougars running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. He's under some heat. 
and they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. From the four-yard line, third down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He's scrambling. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The Cougars quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Morris fields it at the three. Oh, what a hit. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Ready? Omaha! Omaha! You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. Quinn is the putter. He's to the 40. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 46. Houston's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability. And just a lot of, just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. He takes off. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From the 30-yard line, first down. It has the distance, and it sails right on him. No good. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. Houston's lead is 17. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've played 30 minutes. The game seems to be well in hand. It's not that this result or this halftime score is unexpected. 
but no competitor goes into a game thinking he has no chance. What impact do you think this has on the rest of their season? Well, you do always think that you have a chance, but you do have to be realistic, and you have to look at it there and go, those guys on the other side, they're a lot better than us. And it's one of those things where you probably have to, you know you have to execute perfectly, and they have to make some mistakes for you to win. So I don't think all hope is lost, but I think you can rally the second half and make this game a little bit more interesting, keep it closer, and, and just try not to get absolutely completely run out of the building like you're doing right now in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. The stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Dog four. Pressure coming. He gets sacked on the play. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 31. Stewart on the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and four. And he just gets rid of it. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he's immediately tackled. Anderson makes the tackle at the 14 yard line. First down. Can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second in the for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. Nolan. 
has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Hart's kept his cool after a bad first half, Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, uh, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle, he got his teammates on the same page, and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable, and his talent, I think, is through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. Steps out of bounds at the 39. That makes it second and six. Tackle at about the 47 yard line. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 47. He airs it out. And they make the stop at the nine. Yard line. Number 20 with the tackle at the eight yard line. I'm here all that day. brings him second and goal. Hey, check my 50. Mike is 50. Check my 50. Check. Kill, kill. Strike to his receiver. No good. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quick strike to the back, no good. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Oklahoma State yet set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. <laughs> Oklahoma State's done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. That's a team of 19 in a row. First down. They can't hang with us. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's out of bounds at 
the 45. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. Gaddis to punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Runs it left for a decent game. They'll spread the field with five wide. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Once and all, going deep. And that's his receiver who's wide open. He's tackled right around the 30. Converts the extra point. Atkinson is lined up to kick this one off. And he's tackled at the 28. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He lets it go. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. That makes it first and ten. Tried to fool him by running the same play again. Now, fooled no one there, Brad. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's at the 30. He's on the run. Touchdown, Cougars. in his second touchdown catch. Boy, it can really throw a wrench into a defensive scheme when you've got a back who's as good a receiver as this young man is. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 72-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 38-17. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Clip it. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy, or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Landry gets it on the inside, and he's tackled around the 12-yard line. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. That brings up second and nine. It's our time. It's our time. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Red two. There's a strike complete. Excellent open field tackle. <laughs> Up the middle for a nice game. 
They're just one quarter away. 38-17, Houston. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Come on. Mike six. Mike six. Green nine. And he tackles him hard at the 43. It. He's in space. And they push him out around the 23 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at about the 23 yard line. Too easy, too easy. That makes it second and 10. Thrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. It's the ninth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Black five, black five. Three and eight. He steps up. He's hit and taken down. Not every offense uses their tight ends very effectively, but when they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the two. That brings up second and one. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 89 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick out to his receiver. And he's level at the 29-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll make it second and in inches. Hey, check by 25. Check by 25. Watch the pass. Check by 25. Check by 25. Across the middle. And that one's incomplete. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes his way out to about the 15. That's a deal. That brings up second and nine. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. 45, 45. Hey, check, check, check,
to the tailback, and he's hit immediately for a loss. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. Houston with a first and goal and a big chance here to really open up this football game. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws and it's incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Touchdown, Houston. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 29. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's going to air it long. And now the ball is loose. The defense scoops it. And the safety's all alone, and no one's going to catch him. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. It's not like receivers don't practice hanging on to the ball all week. This is just a case of the defense creating a turnover. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. To After review, review the, play, the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. Check 52. Check, check, check three. Check three. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He heaves it to the end zone. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly, and again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. He makes the PAT. This offense has found the end zone on their last two drives. And they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. A little over a minute in the game. Nice run there. Taylor comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. That brings him second and five. From the 34-yard line. Second down. He 
He's taken down at about the 31. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Make the stop at the 19 yard line. The Cougars know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.